What is up guys, welcome back. So I want to start the day off, instead of starting it with my daily plans and goals, I want to start a video talking about my predictions for the change after the patch um, and how you guys can, can start preparing for it with one day left. Um, so first of all, I would recommend anyone that is farming golems right now, like just farm the shit out of it right now, like just do as much as you can before the, the patch actually hits. Like stop raising your monsters, start farming golems right now, like anything that you can farm. Um, I think, you know, if you're only able to farm B7, just I don't think it matters because they don't have armor break. Um, but for people farming B8 or farming B10, do it as much as you can right now, especially if you don't have a very, very stable team. Like if your team is just barely able to cut it, do it as much as possible right now because after the change it's going to be so much harder for you. So uh, there's going to be new monsters, like I'm not going to talk too much about the new monsters, I'm going to be talking about the armor break change, like that's the biggest thing right now, like armor break change is going to be affecting PV really really heavily. It's also going to be affecting PvP because the, right now the current meta for PvP is still, you know, defense aggression. I don't think anyone's going to argue with me with that because, you know, just, just just look at the top all-time winners. Like, they run the exact same team. Like, these guys are running the exact same thing. It's double defense aggression, flat heal, HP leader. Um, he also has armor break, so he's he complements these two really, really well. But it's basically the same. It's just tank, like, all the damage, but also deal a shit ton of damage at the same time. Like, um, and there's no counter. Like, there, there was supposed to be a counter, and the counter was supposed to be armor break, but the devs uh, broke armor break. Like, it wasn't it wasn't working as intended. So that's why, that's why, that's why these guys are ruling the arena right now. Like, think about it like, like this. These guys have access to pretty much all the monsters. Like, they can make a Evil 3 Water Persephone, um, no problem. But instead of choosing to build anything else, they chose to build these monsters because of their... Because of just how OP they are, you know? And these two are obtainable monsters. It's not like, like, basically everyone has them. That's why, that, that's why everyone's also using them. Um, so which kind of, uh, brings me to my next point, which is PV, PVE. Um, it's kind of the same thing for PVE. For Golem's B10, a lot of people are running, like, the Light Victoria. Because she can tank the dark damage, and she's able to just deal a lot of damage at the same time. With her being light having the um, elemental advantage and also like you know being a defense aggress aggressor she can you know do a lot of damage while having really high defense and if you have like a flat healer like the water persephone or the dark jack which everybody already has as well uh, it's going to be complementing that even better so after the change um defense the armor break is going to basically be cutting your total defense in half so armor break is going to be a lot more powerful after the change and what this means for defense aggression is um, you can no longer stack full defense and expect to tank all the damage because your your tankiness is literally going to be cut in half the moment that um, armor break lands on you so for now I think I think um, it might it might be better to run like like I think the the only two types of teams that aren't going to be effective for PVE at, at at all like completely well they still will be affected a little bit because of the way you know defense like um, armor break is gonna gonna work like if you have any sort of bonus defense um, it's gonna be less effective but for any team that isn't just completely stacking uh, bonus defense then it's not gonna matter to you that much so. A lot of, a lot of people that are, uh, you know, running, running either, either nukers might be, might be gemming them with like it might be more effective for you to run like one slot defense right now if you have like a flat healer, but this might no longer be the case um, because, you know, your, your bonus defense is, is going to get cut in half the moment um, armor break actually does land on you. So I think the two types of monsters that aren't going to be affected by this change is. Uh, full nukers, like just straight out nukers, like just, you know, they just do damage, like monsters like the Dark Gatito and stuff, um, or, or you know, monsters that have some sort of passive that just basically just increases their, da their, their damage output. Um, full nukers aren't going to be affected by this change, and also sappers. 
people running sap teams aren't going to be affected too much by this change. Because if you if you stack, you can just change all your armor slots to stack bonus HP instead. And it will still be relatively effective. Um, so, I'm not sure what, what the meta is going to be. Like, some people, like, I might need to actually revert back to running a sap team because it's going to be completely unaffected by this change. Well, not... 100% unaffected, but like 90% unaffected by this change. Um, or also build more nukers. But the thing with nukers is, if you're running a new team, you also need really, really good gems. So you might just need to work your way up, like like maybe start farming B8, B9 a lot, and then maybe you might get stuck on B8, can't farm B8. Uh, maybe you need to go back to B5 or something like that. Oh my god, that would be a nightmare. Uh, going back to B5, farming some 5 star gems for you to eventually progress and move on to B8. Um, or maybe you just need to... You just need to bite the bullet and... Is that the expression? Bite the bullet? And, and, uh... And build a sapper team or some shit like that. I, I also don't think self-sustained teams are gonna be able to work as effectively in B10 anymore because of attack down. Um, attack down's gonna be working the same way as as um, armor or defense down, like armor break or defense down. It's gonna be working the same same way. And monsters that run self-sustain um, need to sustain based on their damage. So the less damage they deal, the less they heal. And if they have attack down on them, they're no longer able to sustain themselves. Um, yeah, which is really bad as well. That that just is horrible. Um, so, so my predictions is, um, you know, some people that are barely able to cut it might need to revert back to running like you know the the cringy sap teams, which everybody just hates. Like just everybody hates that. You know, no, nobody likes sap. Um, but it might be a necessity. And also, I think if you have monsters that can heal for max HP, um, HP aggression might be an alternative in the future as well. I think if I, like for example, if, I, if I'm if i running something like the Dark Cupid, um, who has a shield based on the allies H HP, this is worded so fucking badly. Grants a shield to allies proportional to own max HP. It should, they should put it there, right here. Proportional to their own max HP. Like... This makes you think that it's proportionate to his max own HP, uh, but you'll notice like if you run, if you use his shield on a squishy unit that has like really low base HP but has the same amount of defense as you, um, their shield's gonna break a lot le more easily, which is something I noticed as well. So um, if you have a monster that has like really high uh, max HP, it might complement them really well. And there's a few monsters that do have like you know max HP heals like the the Fire Sura, um, Light Sura, Light Cosmo. They they might be able to help you sustain your like you know your HP aggression comp. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Maybe she's gonna be she's gonna be meta in the future. You know she's already pretty strong right now. Um, and I think like you know if if I can get like an HP leader that would be even better. Uh, that would be the dream, you know, HP leader with him, and then HP aggression, and then I can pretty much do the same thing that um, armor, like armor based or defense aggressor, aggress, defense aggressors can do, but I can do it with HP aggression if I can, if I can build that up. I think HP aggression might become a thing in the future. Um, for in terms of like you know nuking and stuff, armor breaks definitely gonna be a lot stronger in the arena, like on offense. Um, if you have like first turn armor break, like first skill armor break, I mean, um, if you land on the enemy, you're basically guaranteed to reduce their tankiness in half, which is a lot. Like it's gonna be, gonna be the new shit. All right, Every, everybody's gonna have to run some armor break um, because of how effective it is. I mean, armor break's already really strong right now, but it's gonna be even stronger after the, the patch change. So yeah, that's just a little bit about uh, yeah about about the meta as well. Also, utility is going to weigh a bit more heavily right now, like after the change also because utility because like you know if if um, you're running like defense aggressors aren't as strong, you might be able to kind of do the same job with 
um, with another utility monster. Like if you build, like you know, for example, I build a Fire Arthur. I build him slightly tankier and use him for the stun. Um, you know, utility might become what might be weighed more heavily because of the nerf to other other uh, other passive skills. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That is the that is my predictions for the the patch change. Um, what you can do right now to prepare for it, I would say, is don't make big investments. Um, wait for, not don't even invest heavily on anything, um, even after the patch change. Wait a few days. Wait for the people to figure something out. Um, you know, what what will be staple for Golems B10? Um, the, the meta for Golems B10, the meta for the arena before you go balls deep on it on anything. But if you're like, if you're like whatever, then you can YOLO, because that's what I'm doing. I'm just YOLOing, alright? Um, I'm gonna farm for another day, and then I'm gonna just work on whatever I need to work on for the near future. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.